Stanley! Come on! <laughs> Come on. What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Now, people say the key to good porridge, to good oats, to good proats, protein oats, is the amount of water, the amount of oats you use, the brand of oats you use. They're all correct, and they're all good things, and you want all of those things. But the one thing you really need is this. <clears throat> so this is going to be oh, necessary um, today. It's currently like, <laughs> it's currently half past eight. And I'm on my way to the gym. Anyone who's been watching the channel or anyone who knows me uh, knows I don't like training in the morning. Uh, I like training with a couple of minutes. To be honest, as of late, the, the ideal time for me to train has been like two, three in the afternoon, something like that, on the basis that um, I've got a couple of meals in me. It <laughs> Can't even talk. Wake up, Liam, wake up. <clears throat> this is so... Such a terrible clip. Um, I like training at about two, three o'clock on the basis that I've got a couple of meals in me, I've got a good amount of water in me, I feel awake, I feel alert. You know, it's just not really an issue for me to train at that point in time. When I have to set an alarm and start getting up, that's when it kind of becomes a bit more difficult for me. I'm, I'm not really a morning person. I know a lot of people that do this YouTube grind and entrepreneurial business grind are like morning people waking up at four o'clock in the morning. That's not me. I, I mean, not at this point in time anyway. It, it might be in the future, I, I don't know, but I'm currently making my own little funnel, by the way, because I left my shaker at home. I came to Charlotte's in a rush last night and just completely forgot. Um, I dropped her off at the train station so she w could go to work this morning. And now, I have a lot of, oh, is this even worked? Yes! Big tip, if you ever forget your shaker, just find a piece of paper or like, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Uh, see, this is the thing, right? I can't focus at this time in the morning, like, at this time, like most people are at work now. <laughs> you get my point, like, I, I'm not awake and aware and, alert enough, if you like, um, to go to the gym and have a good or the best potential session that I could I could possibly have. Hence the total war, because this blows my freaking head off. We're gonna go and train at the gym in Sutton Coalfield, which is where I train when I'm in Birmingham, because Charlotte lives near there, Jake lives near there. Uh, I'm on my own today, but um, it's just the nearest gym. And I think the gym is probably the better of 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 those commercial chains. From what I've heard, I've only ever used the gym. Okay. Just love traffic.
and big for your boots on Radio 1 live from Middlesbrough. Stuart Park, thank you for having us. Come on. Here's Stormzy. My brother's all down. We just lost you, but I say you guys will leave me at the coffee shop. Getting freaky in the seats, we'll take your body shots. Woo! people that crowd of people knowing every word to your to what you're singing people like me singing in the car gas wow wow literally never been so happy to get stuck in traffic before like we had we had a uh, Radio 1, live, bit of Stormzy, bit of Bastille, <laughs> it was great, I'm well up for this now. Try this uh, training in the morning, malarkey. Good. I feel good. I feel strong. Lifts are going well. That was 90 for five. Pause. Um, this makes a massive, massive, massive difference. But the thing I'm noticing with the uh, kind of home gym comparison to the uh, to the commercial. It's literally already just having to wait for stuff and it's a well-known problem, you know. I mean, it's not even that bad now, it's like half past nine and it's not actually that busy, but I've still had to actually wait for stuff. But it is what it is, you know. Sometimes this is the best option, this is the only time, this is the only option for me to record a video, for me to actually train today. It's gonna to be my only uh, opportunity. And so, to be honest, I figured I may as well make a video out of it, you know. Set two. One thing that I have absolutely no chance of at home is these benches here. They almost rock forward when you uh, when you unrack your your weight. It's almost like having a spotter, but not. It's like having a lift off, so it allows you to actually focus on it. I'd have no chance of that at home. But having said that, the rack that I had to shoulder press on, I'd definitely prefer the one at home to to here. But I don't know whether that's just because what I'm used to. I don't know whether I'm just being picky. I don't think I'm being picky. The heights were funny. The heights worked for me in the home gym, whereas these, these heights definitely meh, you know? One thing you literally just cannot ignore, literally just, you just can't, is look at the size of this place, you know? My home gym is a double-sided garage. We've made, we use pretty much one and a half sides of it. This is a freaking warehouse, you know? The, the sheer volume of equipment and and opportunity for our equipment if you like it's just ridiculous in comparison you, 
you just can't compare that. It, it doesn't matter whether it's the gym, it's some hardcore bodybuilder gym, it, wherever. It's gonna have more equipment than your home gym. It just is. That's not to say though, that you can't do every single freaking exercise, one way or another, some variant of it, in the home gym. Because you can. You just can. That's like the way we've kind of structured it, the way we've planned it, the things we've bought, the way we've laid it out. You, you can do that. It's just, you know, you can't compete with the kind of money that, that this, these kinds of places have, you know? On the other hand, you just can't really compete with the, uh, the cleanliness, shall we say, of a home gym. If you compare like the heavy duty equipment that it needs to be so heavy duty in a commercial gym because so many people use it on a single on a daily basis we pretty much have myself and the old man and maybe a few people kind of come to visit a few times a week you know and the equipment is going to last a lot longer and needs doesn't need to be five thousand pound per item you know it doesn't need to be ten grand per piece of kit you can have something that's worth a few hundred quid that gets the job done, that does really, really good, looks good, feels good, feels smooth. And it's a lot cleaner. Oh, and you get to put on whatever tunes you want. I'm sure you can hear this freaking sick music in the background. <laughs> Putting whatever you want on the speakers definitely takes a box. Then I finish one of the faces just to top it off, hey! You even got a clue, let's be honest! I had an hour with the moment. Should probably stop singing so I don't get copyrighted, eh? <laughs> Proper proud of myself, I've been up, I've done some work, I've gone to the gym, done some cardio, I'm gonna come back, do some more cardio. Wait, do some more, oh, I've lost my head again. Do some more work, not cardio, do some more work. Have some food. Already head over home at about lunchtime. Something like that. You know when you just feel like you're being really, really productive? When you feel like you're, you're ticking the boxes that you need to to achieve what you need to achieve, you know? I feel like that right now, I feel good. All the endorphins flowing from the workout and stuff as well. Very happy, very, very happy. Yes. 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 Well, well, well. I had a compliment at work today um, on that transition. So I did it again today. Hope you like that, bro. I'll do, right? You can see me? Yeah, okay. I'm going for a trim in a minute. Um, right. Home gym. A couple of bits that I haven't mentioned, atmosphere, um, obviously the atmosphere is what you make it in a home gym, you can stick on whatever songs you want, you can have whatever vibe you want, and I like that about a home gym, but then in a public gym you can just stick some headphones on, but that's not always the same, you know, you can get really hot and sweaty in them, and you know, silly things like the temperature as well, I was pretty cold in, in that gym, but then I was too hot in the hoodie, um, and I can kind of control the temperature in a home gym as well, but um, yeah, silly silly things like the, the, the temperature in, in the gym as well can make a big difference. Um, price is, let's be honest, the biggest thing. You can go to the gym and pay 10 to 15 pound a month and be good and have all the equipment, well, a lot of equipment um, for that amount of money, right? And you can have that for 10 years, to whatever. Uh, and it's a decent price, the, the cost is spread, um, and yeah, that that's that. Price is a big thing. Um, with a home gym, you either have to build it up, like what we have over the past like five years. Um, and I actually done a home gym transformation video. Go and search for that on my channel, it's a pretty good video over the past like four or five years as building the gym up. Those pieces of equipment, rather than paying 
um, monthly, like for a gym membership, had to be paid for in one go. Yes, you can finance, um, you know, like a, a, a home gym rack or something like that, but that's not what we've done. We spent around about £3,000, I think. I think that's about right, but if you think about it, the local gym where myself and the old man would train if we didn't train at home is £30 a month. £30 a month times two is £60 a month. 60 times 12 is £500 a year for both of us to have a gym membership, right? And that's kind of just bog standard, right? A, a leisure centre gym, you know? Um, you have that for five or six years, 500 times five or six, you know, you end up paying around about the same amount as what we have. And so essentially anything that we do from now is training for, for, for free. But the thing is, you do have to have a certain amount of upfront cost. Like a piece of equipment is gonna be, a decent piece of equipment is gonna be a few hundred quid. Like the rack that we have, I think you can get that for like 300 quid. Um, the cables that we have, they're meant to be like a grand. We didn't pay that, but they're meant to be like 1,200 quid. Um, so the price can add up. You know, you need flooring, you need the space as well. Um, and all of these things kind of come into play and most people, more often than not, end up going for the commercial gym or just a gym in general. Um, so I'm sitting on the fence with this one. I love my home gym, um, but I also love some gyms as well. So I don't want to say that one is better than the other. They both have their pros and cons, you know? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, and we will move on to the t-shirts. We will move on to the t-shirts, people. Right, together we will grow tees. I'm not wearing one, but Together We All Grow Tees are now live. They are live. If you are watching this video, they weren't available for pre-order yesterday, as of the day that this went live. Yeah, yesterday, Tuesday. You have less than two weeks, so about you have about 12 days as of now to order it. Um, all of the info and everything like that will be kind of scattered along here on my Instagram, and there's a ton of information on the actual site as well. So it will be the first link in the description box if you want to pick one of those up bear in mind that that money is not going in my back in my back pocket it's also not going to a charity as well um however it's going to a good home is the, the kind of phrase that i've adopted for it so that's that any support would be appreciated guys um and yeah i kind of said it all in that instagram post so go and check that out as well if you haven't already thank you so much for tuning in today drop a like if you have enjoyed be sure to pick up a tea if you want to be a part of the family tea family yeah <laughs> okay right um and thank you to everybody that's already ordered them by the way we've you know they're, they're doing good so thank you to to you guys much love together we will grow and i will see you in the next one which will be on sunday and i'm going ocean tonight so that might be in it too so many of you just went like what the hell is this kid doing what is this guy doing if you know you know i'll see you in the next one